wrap it up here in just a moment, but I wanted to uh, I wanted to say something of uh, some points of encouragement. <clears throat> we sure have a lot going on around us that's very negative, very dark. These are dark times when we see what we see. Uh, Portland, Seattle, and uh, Chicago, and many other places, but it's a dark time. But the light is coming. The light is coming. I'd like to explain something to you just real quickly. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1, the very first, it says, You have turned your back on the Lord. Book of Amos, it says, Because, says God, because you have rejected me, I will reject you. That's a terrible concept, isn't it? But yet he gives us great hope in the book of 2 Chronicles. He says in chapter 7 and verse 14, he says, If my people, who are called by my name, would humble themselves, pray, and seek my face, those three things, he said, then, if you do that, what, what, humble yourself, pray, and seek my face, seek God's will, right? Okay? Then, I will hear your prayer, I will forgive your sins, and I will heal your land. That's a promise from Almighty God. Okay, so you can, you can take that to the bank. So that's part of what we're here for. We're here to actually try to make a substantial change and to seek God's will and to not allow the evil to continue. So we're going to fix that. And I would like to leave you with an encouraging song because uh, this, is, this is a song that, uh, well, I'll just put it this way. Our boys, we started off with the national anthem. Our boys overseas, they wake up every morning to this song, and they think this song, and I'm gonna finish the uh, evening with this, they think this song is the national anthem, but truly it's the second national anthem in a very good way, it's an inspiring kind of song. And uh, if you know it, sing along with me. It's a wonderful song. If tomorrow all the things were gone, I were for a while, and I had to start again with just my children and my wife. I thank my God above to be living here today, because this flag still stands for freedom, and they can't take that away.
down, I love you.